Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I have a reading tag for you guys today, and, it, and today I'm doing the Gods of Olympus tag, and I'm going to get into it. Um, first one is Zeus. I'm, I'm only going to be saying the names I can actually pronounce, so if I don't say the, the God's name, you know that I just can't pronounce it. Zeus. Name your favorite fictional leader, good or bad. Um, that would have to be um, Mara from Amanda Ashley's Children of the Night series. Um, because in the fourth book, Night Pleasure, I think it's the fourth book. It's either the third or fourth. I think it's... No, I, I'm, I'm mistaken. It's the third book, Night's Pleasure. Night's Master. Oh, sorry about that. Um, because during the war, Mara is the leader of sectioning off which vampires go to which area of the country and kind of trying to contain the war as they can. All right, um, Hera, who are your favorite fictional parents? Uh, that is really, really hard because I don't really have any, but... If I had to, if I have to choose, I'd probably go with uh, the Twilight series uh, with um, Charlie and Renee. Um, I really like Charlie. I, I and what the few glimpses of Renee we actually got, I did actually like her too. Um, yeah, Demeter. What fictional food would you like to try? Um, I don't have any. The only well, the only thing I do want to try is like red wine, but that's not fictional. That's real life because I've never had wine before, so I always thought I'd give it a try sometime someday. Poseidon, name a book where water is central, either in setting or plot. Um, the only thing I can think of is uh, *Beautiful Creatures* by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. And that's when, um, where Lena, who is a, um, natural, who is, she's a caster, and she, um, she can just make it rain. So, uh, essentially, that's water, so, <laughs> there you go. Um, uh, I can't pronounce this one, sorry. It's a, and then it says, which character would you most like to have a party with? Um, that would have to be Alice from the Twilight series because she's she's always that character that you know she she sounds like she would be a blast to party with. Apollo. Either name a great debut book or an author's first published work, or name a first book in a series you really enjoyed. Um, I'd have to go with Beautiful Creatures by Kimmy Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Um, that that's that that is the the first book of the series that I really enjoyed because I really enjoyed that book. I read the second one. I'm like 160 pages into the third one, so I'm really really enjoying it. Artemius, I think that's how you say it. I could be totally wrong. If I am, I'm sorry. Of all the Greek goddesses, she was the most self-sufficient living life on her own terms, comfortable both in solitude and in holding the reins of leadership, who is your favorite female heroine? Oh, that is so hard. Um, I would have to say, again, I would have to say again Mara from um, Amanda Ashley's Children of the Night series because she was, she's the one character that because, because she is 3,000 years old, and she's the oldest vampire in existence. She's the queen of the vampires. I think that she she is she's 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 not just strong physically, of course, but she has this very um, controlled, very um, strong personality. You know, she she can take care of herself, and she doesn't really let a lot of things bother her. And um, she's very. Um, easily liked in a reader's perspective that is um, I really liked her she's, she's my favorite character of the series as well <clears throat> Athena name a character who is wise um, <laughs> even though I have not read the Lord of the Rings 
trilogy, I would have to say Gandalf the White. Because he's been through so much over the, like, what, 7,000 years, or is it 9,000 years that he's been alive? He's the wisest person, character that I, I, I've came across. Hermes, if you could travel to any fictional setting, real world or fantasy, where would you go? See, that's that's so hard. It, to me, it honestly, it's a tie. It's a tie between the the world in um, Amanda Ashley Show the Night series, and it's 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 tied with that with uh, Stephanie Meyer's The Twilight series. If I could, I would very much like to go with two both. I can't pronounce this next one, so if you if you could have any fictional tool made, for example, a weapon or a gadget, what would you want? Uh I would probably want I'd probably go with a dagger because swords are kind of really big and but a dagger's kind of smaller and it and they kinda of look more badass than a sword would. So that would be what well, that, and I would want it to have, like, a mystical property to it. Like, you can, like, absorb lightning, so when you strike down your, your when you stab your enemies, they're just, like, eviscerated. That would be so awesome. Um, Ares, um, what is your favorite fictional battle? Um, <clears throat> that would have to be in the Twilight series. Um, even though there's not actually a battle... But um, it's all in Alice's vision. But it's the Cullens with the wolves versus the Volturi. I really liked it. I really we got to see it in the movie. But but I mean, technically speaking, that really would have happened, and we just never got to see it in the books. But that's my that's probably my favorite fictional battle. Aperdite. I'm saying that wrong. I already know. What is your what is your ult, what is your um, ultimate ship? The characters do not have to be from the same book. Like favorite relationship, if if uh, if out there you just don't know, but it's relationship. Um, that's really hard, but I really like the relationship between um, Derek and Sherry from Amanda Ashley's um, book um, Night's Promise. Um, but then again, I also like um, the the relationship between Bella and Edward, and from the Twilight series. And then again, I also really like the rela the relationship between Ethan and Lena from the Castor Chronicle series by Kimmy Garcia and Margaret Stoll. So it's kind of like it's kind of like a tie between those three, if I'm being honest. Hades, if you could petition Hades to bring any fictional character back from the dead, who would you choose? I would have to pick. I would probably pick Irina from the Twilight series because Caius killed her in Breaking Dawn, and it always felt like kind of unfair. And she was a character that we didn't really get introduced to very quickly, but she's a character that I did kind of like, and it felt I felt really sorry for her. So yeah, that was who. That's who I would choose. Final question: If you could be a god slash goddess of anything, what would you want to be, and what do you think would fit your personality? These do not have to be the same. Um. Oh, that's so hard. <laughs> um, I guess it would have to be a tie between like the god of like love and protectiveness, or both, and also like fit my personality, something that would be strong and capable of defending anything, I guess. And if you have, and and if and the and those of you who watch and know me best, um, why don't you take this question and down below in the comments, and you and you can write what you think what God I would be based on what you've seen in my past videos and that you know about me. All right. Well, this it, this was the uh, Gods of Olympus tag. I hope you guys really liked it. Um, I will I'll probably be looking into other tags some other time. But I really enjoyed doing this. This was a lot of fun. I always love doing reading tags. There, they always are a blast to do. All right. Well, I will see you guys on the 17th for my uh, weekly update. 
um, I will see you guys then, and happy reading!